It is exciting getting ready for the big 4th of July parade here in beautiful Fredericksburg, Texas. This has become burning with the rebounds. Welcome to the Fredericksburg Chamber of Commerce. We sold five here, 3,500. I'm going to sell that goat to your dad. We had that promise again in John's Gospel. We love living in the country. I think about it. Husband. Along the fairways at Ladybird, have a way of slowing up. Hey there, well, welcome, Billy fans. Uh, this is on September 25th, 1925. John Sank Crawford Fridge. to the uh, 136th Gillespie County Fair Festival Association. I'm going to tell you what, this 2024 season has been amazing. It's been great. Uh, a ton of parades. The girls have really bonded and having a great time this year. And I, I just can't wait for these new contestants to be up here, up in the center, come next year. Uh, it's going to be really a great time. Uh, again, welcome. Before we get too far, I do want to say, if you have any friends or family that weren't able to make it here tonight, that might be somewhere else, fbg.live. Just text them, fbg.live. They can go on there and check it out, and they can watch it live. I just talked to Paige. He said it's going to be up there flashing when you go to fbg.live. So that is broadcasted here tonight. Thanks to a bunch of sponsors that made that possible. At Hill Country Propane, Inc., we work hard to earn your propane business. Do you need propane delivery for your home? We're on it. Refilling propane cylinders for your grill? We're on it. Filling up your RV and our easy drive through We're on it. Savings on RV and cylinder fills? We're on it. For all your propane needs, choose Hill Country Propane, Inc., because... We're on it. Hill Country Propane, Inc. Go Propane. So, also, we want to do a huge thank you before we get too far for Kernwelge Motors for uh, supplying the vehicle to pull the float all year. Uh, Jan Fritz with KNAF, uh, the summertime interviews. The girls went in there throughout the summer and did some interviewing and, uh, and plugging for the uh, fair for this weekend. And uh, we also want to say a huge thank you to every one of you guys that are here tonight because y'all are here. Y'all are the reason that this is possible. Y'all are here to support and uh, thank you so much, guys, for y'all being here. One more, one more little group that we got to recognize here. If, uh, if you're a veteran or you currently serve, can you please stand up? If you're a veteran or you currently serve, can you please stand up if you're able? Please do that. Absolutely. Give those guys a round of applause. We wouldn't be here tonight without you guys making it safe and possible. All right, one more person that we have to thank. If you don't mind, bow your head with me. We're going to do a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, please be here with us this evening as friends and family and the community have come together and support these young ladies. We pray that these nerves are few and voices to be heard proud and new friendships to be strong. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for the men and women that keep us safe from on the streets and free in our country. Dear Lord, be with everyone here as they uh, make their way home tonight, keeping them safe. And most of all, thank you for you, your gifts, your blessings. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get this current court. We're going to get them up here. The 2024 court. We're going to introduce them. We're going to start with our third duchess. Miss Izzy Ray, come on up, Miss Izzy Ray, third duchess, daughter of Jamie and Tabitha Ray, and escorted by her father, Jamie. <laughs> Izzy told me it was a long handshake. Look at there. Nice. 
Miss Izzy Ray. Oh, you come and put your hands together for our second Duchess of 2024, Laura Nielsen, daughter of Bradley and Tiffany Nielsen, escorted by her father, Bradley. Nice. So one more time, third, uh, second Duchess, Miss Laura. All right, first Duchess. Put your hands together. J.C. Tribes, daughter of Kyle and Karen Tribes, escorted by her cousin, James Yenski. <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> nice. One more time, First Duchess, J.C. All right, Lady of the Night, Miss Queen Maddie Moore, daughter of Annabelle Austin, and is escorted by her brother, Jordan. Thank you, John. Get it up. Miss Maddie Moore, Queen of 2024 Fair Court. The 75th Queen's Court right here. This is the 75th Queen's Court. What a night. What a night. And now here we've been all waiting for tonight is our contestants for next year. We're going to bring them up. They're going to be mixed up a little bit. Escorted by, uh, no, I think we got all fathers out here tonight. All right. We're going to start with contestant number one, Kirsten. Come on up, gal. Contestant number one is Kirsten, escorted by her dad, Junior. All right, making their way up the steps over here. We got contestant number two, Annalise, escorted by her father, Isaac. Contestant number two, Annalise. All right, come on up. Contestant number three, we got Lainey, is being escorted by her father, Barry. Perfect. Contestant number three. All right. Next one making her way up here. We have contestant number four, Nora. Come on up, Nora. Nora is escorted up here by her father, Chris. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five. Come on up, Ellie. Contestant number five. And she's also escorted by her dad, Michael. All right, next up, we got contestant number six. Come on up, Rayleigh. Miss Rayleigh, contestant number six. Brought half of Fredericksburg, kid. Escorted by her father, Cody. Here we go, contestant number seven, our final contestant here, Miss Holston. Contestant number seven is escorted by her father, Kyle. All right. 
Right. So our next thing, what we got here for these ladies here, what we're going to do is we're going to interview them one at a time. We're going to get them up here. Oh, wait. We got Mr. Chad Elbrock. We got to get him up here. We're going to introduce him. This is the president of our 2024 Gillespie County Fair. He's going to give us a, uh, just a few words of thanks. And uh, I think he's making his way up here right now. He's going to give a few words of thanks and uh, kind of thank everybody for being here. Give us a little blessing. That way this is official. This whole queen thing is official. I guess 47 years of, not quite that many, but <laughs> the girls love you. Sir Chad Elbrock, thank you, sir. All right, first of all, thanks for everyone coming out and enjoying our fair this year. And for all the volunteers that have helped us for the many, many years that we've been out here for 136. I, uh, as being a president, you cannot do all this by yourself. We have a great director's board. My vice president is Will Maurer, which is hiding over there somewhere. So with everything, it has been great and an honor to be able to be the president of this great association. The years and years of all the tr volunteers and the family that has been out here. So I always say the fair and the Gillespie County Fair Association could not be where it is now with all the volunteers that come out here and volunteer with us. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Give yourselves a round of applause because there is uh, different communities and uh, different businesses will take turns in different areas to uh, volunteer, and, uh, and it's great. It takes every one of us to bring this together. Um, I also want to do, uh, before we get to going on these girls. We want to thank Security State Bank and Trust for uh, sponsoring. Every year they sponsor the uh, contestant float. So if you saw that one with the contestants uh, on there today, uh, Security State Bank helped them out uh, for these young women to make that uh, possible for them to be in the parade altogether, where they spent the rest of the afternoon together answering one-on-one -on -one questions. But we're going to do this out here in front of everybody now. All right, so we're going to go here. With contestant number one, Kirsten, you want to come on up here? Kirsten, come on up. Contestant number one. A little something about her that I have here. She enjoys shopping, traveling, playing basketball, coaching basketball, and involved in HOSA. All right, Kirsten. I got a microphone for you. All right. What, what are just uh, something about you? And then what's something about the hobbies that you enjoy doing? Something about you and something about your hobbies. Well, my name is Kirsten. I'm a senior at Fredericksburg High School. And something about the hobbies I like would be that it's just something I can always do when I have nothing else going on. And... It's just like an icebreaker for me when I have, like, such a busy life and <laughs> always wanting to do something, so. Yep, you say you love spending time here in Fredericksburg with your family, where you've been most of your lives everywhere, uh, very close with your grandparents, and you play 42, is that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I've grown up playing dominoes my whole life, so. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. All right, Kirsten. You don't mind, we got a magic bucket right here that's got a whole bunch of questions. And I believe these girls, really, everybody here, these girls have only had 24 hours with a list of about 97 questions to study. And they're going to pull one out. So they've had 24 hours. So they're, they've got a lot going on up top. So that's why we prayed for them, for them nerves to be few. All right, pull one out, kid. Oh, that, that one's upside down. You need to get another one. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. It's not upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you were a judge, if you were a judge, why should they vote for you? If you were a judge, or, yeah, if you were a judge, why should they vote for you? If I was a judge, they should vote for me because 
I am very kind-hearted and I love helping other people and I'm always compassionate when it comes to talking to other people and I love just being around others and especially this community. We're um, a very tight-knit community and I just think it's so special for us to always have that um, sense of love and compassion. Great, great. And it says here you're kind-hearted, you love to support people, you love warming up, and uh, you can be shy at first, but then you don't quit talking. So once we get this broken, you're going to keep going, right? Yes. All right, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one, Kirsten. Great job, Kirsten. Number one is always the toughest. Now everybody can steal everything that you just had right there. They might have the same question. No? Maybe not. All right. Contestant number two. Come on up, Annalise. Come on up, kid. All right. I have your own mic right here. It's ready to go. Annalise, um, here. Something about yourself and a few activities that you're involved in. All right? Something about yourself and some activities that you're involved in. Hello, everyone. I am Annalise. I am a senior at Fredericksburg High School. Uh, I am a part of the girls' cross-country and track team. Uh, girls' cross-country, three-time three, state, three state runner-up. Runner um, some things I like to do in my free time is I love running on the weekends. I love hanging out with my friends and family. Um, I love commuting, communicating with people and talking to them and getting to know them. And has there you volunteer? Where, where might you volunteer at? I volunteer at the Golden Hub Senior Citizen Center. Um, this consists of on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I help uh, wrap silverware, serving tea. Uh, during the summer, we are delivering Meals on Wheels to those that cannot, are not able to go and pick up their own meals. Um, yeah. that's, that's great. <laughs> that's great. That's great. All right, go ahead. Get you a question out of this magic bucket here. A one in 79 chances. All right, all right. Oh, this is my favorite. If you could change anything about Fredericksburg tomorrow, if you could change anything about Fredericksburg tomorrow, what would it be and why? All right, take your time. If you change anything about Fredericksburg tomorrow, what would it be and why? If I could change anything from about Fredericksburg tomorrow, I would change the amount of get-togethers this town has. I think we have a great community and the support that they have. I'd love to see more of that and more of the community coming together and supporting one another and just having a good time together. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Go ahead and step forward. Give them a big wave. A few other things here about Annalise. Uh, she loves track and field. Uh, she wants to go to the next level with sports medicine and uh, running, cooking, baking, family, fishing, and hunting. You're going to be a great wife one day, I promise. All right, contestant number three, Lainey. Come on up, kid. All right, Lainey. Magical microphone. It worked. All right. All right, Lainey. What are a handful of activities that you're involved with, and uh, what are your plans after high school? Hi, I am Lainey. I am a sophomore at Fredericksburg High School. I am involved at the cheer team, and I'm also involved with FFA at Fredericksburg High School. <laughs> I... Um, I was on the skills team last year, and I loved it, but I'm switching to ag advocacy this year, and yeah, that's it. All right, and, and after high school, you want to attend? A&M. Oh, no. <laughs> Texas A&M, and what do you want to study over in A&M? Business, hopefully. All right, all right, business, a major in business in Texas A&M. All right, Miss Laney. Um, well, you know, I got one more here for you. 
How about some hobbies? What hobbies do you enjoy doing? I enjoy playing with my little nieces and nephews whenever I get to see them. And I love playing with animals such as dogs and just enjoying time with family and playing games. All right, playing dominoes too, right? Y'all play 42 together? No. No? Okay. <laughs> All right, grab me a question out of here. You get to pick. I won't do that for you. I don't want to be in trouble. All right, Lainey. Why would being part of the Gillespie County Fair Queens Court be important to you? Why would it be important to be up here for the fair next year, for the 137th? Being a part of the Gillespie County Fair Court, I would love to be, is because I have watched these girls grow up when I was growing up, and they just made such an impact on my life and our community, and I hope it's my time that I can do the same. All right, great, great job. All right, step one up again, give them a big wave. Uh, one more couple of things, just a little bit about her extra, is uh, she's the youngest of five, so she's used to following, like, all her brothers and sisters to games and basketball, football, basketball. And now it's her time to shine, right? There you go, kid. Thanks for being up here. Contestant number four, come on up, Nora. All right, here we go, Nora. All right, Nora, here we go. Tell me a little bit something about you and your plans after high school. After high school, what's your goal? Good afternoon. Evening. My name is Nora. I'm contestant number four and a sophomore at Fredericksburg High School. I participated in volleyball and basketball. Both last year we won district. I also run track and medaled in all five of my events at district, which were long jump, triple jump, four by one relay, the four by two relay, and the four by four relay, which we actually got first in district at. I also play softball and was really excited to be pulled up to varsity for playoffs where we made it all the way to regional quarterfinals. In FFA, I competed in chapter conducting the FFA quiz, both we made it to area in. I also did creed speaking and livestock judging for both 4-H and FFA, as well as skill thon for 4-H. Ever since I was little, I have shown livestock. I've shown goats, steers, and chickens, and I'm currently raising steers, um, which in the past I have shown at the county, district, and state level. In my free time, some hobbies that I enjoy are reading, fishing, hunting, spending time with my family, and listening to music. After high school, I plan on attending college at Texas A&M and later going to medical school to become a dermatologist. It would be my honor to serve the Gillespie County Fair Queens Court, promoting this organization and the values it represents. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hey, all right. Great. So you've been doing all the speaking. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat. Can you wrap up the rest of it? <laughs> sure, why not? Grab a question out of the bucket. Nice. All right, Nora. What are the GPS coordinates of the Gillespie County Fair? About 25. <laughs> All right. When and if you have children, when and if you have children, you said you want to have a family here. All right. When and if you have a have children and a family, um, would you raise them in a small community or a large community and why? When and if I get a family and have kids, I would raise them in a small community. I feel like my parents kind of figured out this question for me because the first few years of my life, we lived in San Antonio and just the everyday hassle was just too much, too much driving, too much traffic just to go to the grocery store. And um, living in Fredericksburg just has been such a blessing, and I love just the slow pace of this small community, and I can definitely see myself in the future thriving more in this environment than I would in a larger community. All right. Thank you so much. All right. 
pretty much hit everything there, but she wants to definitely have here. Also, I have written down, she would uh, works hard, she's funny, easygoing, and passionate. Great job. Thank you so much. Contestant number five, Ms. Ellie, come on up. All right, Miss Ellie, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing good, thank all you. All right, all right, all right, kid. All right, so, Ellie, uh, tell me a few activities and a few hobbies that you have going on. A few activities and a few hobbies. Well, first I would like to thank all of you for coming out and braving the heat to be here for us. My name is Ellie Tot. Sorry. My name is Ellie, and I am a junior at FHS. I am involved in... Well, most of my time is spent in academics, and I am in the top 10% of junior class. I'm also in girls track, and our school's construction program, which is call, also called Casa Uberales. We are making a livable, tiny home, which will be on auction towards the end of the year. Also in the umbrella of construction, I will, this will be my second year competing in school as you say, which includes Culinary, culinary, construction, automotive, robotics, and welding. I will be competing in construction, of course. This will also be my second year competing in UIL, current events and issues. And I am also a member of Fred Heads. Outside of school, I am on the St. Mary's Catholic Church Teen, Ma Teen Acts team, which will be putting on a retreat later this year. And I like volunteering at St. Mary's School and St. Mary's Church. Awesome. Great job. All right. Do you want to go ahead and grab you a question out of the fancy bucket over here? Yes, sir. Believe it or not, that bucket was actually out of the uh, exhibition hall. Somebody made that, so it is really nice. And we will get it back to you when after the, uh, the contest. What are some historical facts about Gillespie County? What are just some real highlights of historical facts about Gillespie County? Well, I am a self-professed history nerd, and I can think of three right off the top of the head, my head. First of all, Fredericksburg is the owner of the longest standing, never broken treaty with the Native Americans who lived here. That, considering the time period, is very impressive. Second of all, our town, with the beating heart at the center at the Vereinskirchen, was used for a school, community center, town hall, churches of all different faiths, and that is really what brought our town together. And third, our town is home to some very famous people. First of all, President Lyndon B. Johnson, and second of all, Admiral Chester Nimitz, who was the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet in World War II. All right. Yeah, no, those are definitely great, great things to go visit. And if you haven't been, she does have here also. Um, oh, before that. Thank you so much. That was great. I'm going to take the microphone. You step forward. Give one more great wave, Ellie, and then I'm going to share a few more things. I think that question was absolutely perfect for her. She got lucky, really about it because she uh, she says she is works as an ambassador for the Nimitz Museum and wants to have a career go to Texas A&M and uh, uh, major uh, something involving history or science right so that that was perfect for you all right Miss Ellie contestant number six come on up Rayleigh come on up here kid All right, Miss Rayleigh, contestant number six. I have you a microphone right here. Rayleigh, you have a whole page of goodies here. All right, kid. Tell me a little bit of something about you. Something about you, and what do you love doing? Something about you. Well, hi, y'all. I am Rayleigh Byer. I'm a junior at Fredericksburg High School. I am 16 years old. I am actively involved in my 4-H and FFA through 4-H. I I am on the Gillespie County 4-H County Council Council Delegate, says one of them. I'm also the secretary for my 4-H club, as well as, one of, as well as one of the Healthy Texas Youth Ambassadors. Through FFA, I am on the chapter conducting team where we went, I think, fourth in area 
And I'm also one of the volunteers for the Healthy Pantry House, where me and a group of volunteers go and stock a small house next to our ag, bar excuse me, ag barn for families in need. I will be going to West Texas A&M to major in animal science to become a future ag teacher and extension agent because I love inspiring youth and guiding them to their correct path. All right. Do you know actually how much an ag agent makes or a county, uh, FFA teacher? If you break it down by the hour, it's like pennies. I mean, how much they volunteer. You're still good with that? Of course. Absolutely. Great job. All right, Ms. Rayleigh, grab you a question out of the bucket here. Oh, that's a good one. This is my other favorite right here. All right. If there was a parade scheduled or an event that you were supposed to attend and something came up, all right, there was an event and something came up, which you would, which would you go to other than a family event or what is involved out, let's just say the fairgrounds, something that would you, fairgrounds or is something that came up with your family event, which would you attend? Well, if there was a parade scheduled and I had a family event or something serious that happened in my family, I would have to pick the parade because as, as being one of the contestants, I promised to make this one of my commitments. So if I were to pick, I would have to say I'd go to the parade. There you go. How about this? Would you bring your family? Of course. Yeah, bring the family to the event. How's that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Miss Rayleigh Byer. Give him a big wave, Rayleigh. Thank you so much. A uh, few words that describe Rayleigh. Outgoing, always smiling, love to meet new people, friendly, passionate about being a spokesperson for the Fair Association. Great job. All right. This is the one we're waiting for. Contestant number seven, Holston. Come on up, kid. Absolutely. Come on up. All right, that's the magic stick right there. All right, Holston, tell me something about your hobbies and your plans after high school. A few hobbies and your plans after high school. My name is Holston. This year I am a sophomore at Fredericksburg High School. Um, some of the things I'm involved in at school is I'm a part of the volleyball program, which I've been a part of for years now. This year I'm on the JV team where we have already kicked off our season great and winning and doing good. Um, I'm also a part of track and field, where I run the 100 and 300 hurdles, just like my dad did. I have pretty big shoes to fill. Um, I'm also involved in FFA, where this year I'm doing animal production and hopefully moving into judging. But sports has always been my main. Uh, even if that meant to be on the court at 4 in the morning, I was going to be there or stay at the track until midnight, I would say. Um, some uh, hobbies that I do, I love to go on walks and read and have long talks with my friends and family. And to get to know new people, I love to get to know someone else that has different opinions on other things. And it's just nice to get to know new people. And... Yeah, you have a hobby here of baking and cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. love baking you love and baking cooking. And I love eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll cook you something I'm hungry. sometime. A I lot. got you, yeah. <laughs> All righty, Austin. Grab you a question out of that bucket right there. All right. There are numerous, uh, numerous amount of parades that you need to be attended to with the fair court and functions that are sponsored by the Gusby County Fair Association. Why do you think it's important for the fair court to attend these functions? I think that it's important that you put your 100 in everything you do, if that's work or sports or being on the court. It's important to show that you care. It's always important to be on time, and I think it's important to show people that Fredericksburg isn't joking around, and we take things seriously. All right. Ain't joking around, are we? No. All righty. Holston? 
Go ahead and step forward. Give them a big wave. A few words that describe Halson is kind, good friend, trusting, family, and honest. All right, all right, all right. So what we have planned next here, I'm going to get to the right page. I'll find it just a second. He gave me more than one. All right. So what we would like to do is I'm going to announce the contestants one at a time. I'm going to say your contestant number. I'm going to say your name. I'd like you all to step up, give a big wave for our judges, and then we're going to see our judges out right after that. So the judges can get one more good look at you guys. Contestant number one, Kirsten. Please step up. Give him a big wave. Thank you. Contestant number one, Kirsten. Contestant number two, Annalise. Again, contestant number two, Annalise. Contestant number three, Miss Laney. Miss Laney, contestant number three. Contestant number four, Nora. Step four. Contestant number four, Nora. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Ellie. Miss Ellie, contestant number five. Judges, here's your contestant number six, Miss Rayleigh. Step up, give a great wave. Contestant number six, Miss Rayleigh. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number seven, Holston. Give a big wave. Step four. All righty. At this next time, judges, thank you all so much. And you all may wake your way out of here. Give us a few minutes. We're going to do a bunch of awards and all that good stuff while they uh, take their time and, and sort through this, dig through the weeds, and find out what we're going to have. Who's going to be up here next on this big stage? You finally found your soulmate. Now it's time to define your lives together. Lives that are bound with the perfect circle of your wedding rings from Segner's Jewelers. That perfect ring to present to her at that perfect moment. The wedding that will celebrate the beginning of life as Mr. and Mrs. The beginning of a lifetime of love. Find us in Fredericksburg and Bee Cave. Shop in-store or online at SegnersJewelers.com. Segner's Jewelers. Define yourself. All right. And I know everybody's been waiting. I got a riddle, okay? I get all O nose up here. We do a riddle every year. All right, I lost my cap here. Hang on here. I've got to get my prop. All right. What is... Hang on here. What has a bottom at the top? Just like this bottle of water here. The top is here. The bottom is down here. If I turn it over, now this is the top, and that's the bottom. What has a bottom at the top? While we get going with that, Mr. Chad, you want to come on up here and bring our president back up? He's going to be a uh, Chad, and uh, is Kendall going to be joining Chad? We got Mr. Maurer. Who we got coming up with him? Well, all right, Will Maurer, he's a vice president. We got Chad Elbrock, which is going to be pre which is president right now. Um, they're going to be doing a uh, some uh, awards here for some retired lifetime honorary directors, dedication and presentation. Um, if we have any of you guys that are standing over to the side, make your way up here. And they're also going to do a uh, presentation of uh, our catalog dedication. So that's a lot of shuns right after each other. All right, and we have a list of volunteers also. So, all right, Chad, here you go, sir. All right, thank you. All right, these are two of our individuals that have been with the Gillespie County. They are honorary at this time, but they both served for 16 years. Through their dedication and hard work, I tried my best to find some stories on either one. Either they paid very, very well, or there's some tight-lipped individuals out here. So, with the first one we're going to start off with is Kenneth Cornell. Kenneth volunteered many, many hours out here. Worked with the Scholarship Fest, which is 
28 years going strong this year. His wife is Beverly. She's hiding back over there. And then, oh yes, we have the Easter fires, the parade, and they both videoed during the horse racing. If you ask Kenneth, how many steps does it take to get to the top, he knows. 52. So with that, come on up here, Kenneth. This is for all the appreciation and the time and volunteer hours that you help make Gillespie County Fair Social the way it is. All right, our next one is Linville Krenwuggy. As I said early, it's hard to get any kind of stories, but there was a few of the parades and he drove quite a bit, two flats. Anyways, they had to change two flats on the, when they were driving the float from parades. And he was the uh, bar chairman. I, actually, I think he worked in the bar. On the, uh, so being a Krenwuggy, you can kind of see where that comes from. And for the videoing, if you remember back in the day, every once in a while, you would get zoomed in on a horse, and then it would zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, and, and, and he would finally get it. But he always got the horse. All right, and uh, his wife, Connie, is hiding right over there. So with both of them, with their hours that they volunteered out here, the spouse was always there doing the same amount of hours. So thank you, too, for your time, too. So come on up here, Linville. I think we got something for you, too. It's not for cookies. And the other two, we have the, the volunteers that we put in our catalog, which was Daniel Quinn Rookie and Ursula War L. If either one are out here, come on up. Thank you very much for your dad's time and effort out here. I know that he did a lot for the lamb shows that were out here. So, and I think it was 54 years that he volunteers time out here between the Ag Barn and for the, four, or for the Gillespie County Fair. So thank you very much and pass it along to him and tell him we appreciate it. And we will be sending you a little plaque. We weren't able to get everything, but we we're going to send something to him. All right. Thank you. Debbie Markwood. All right, thank you guys for coming on up to the fair. Stay for the entertainment. It's going to be good. Billy Mata, tomorrow, Kevin Fowler, and Easton Corbin. Chad, thank you so much. It's always nice to have the president come up here and give us that final blessing and dedication. I mean, Tony, I, I wish we could calculate just the years of these two guys that were uh, our catalog uh, guys here that were re uh, represented in our catalog dedication. Uh, we had those hours of them and their family because I know their kids are, had to tag along at some point also. So tons of hours. Thank you so much, guys. 
All right, something that's happened that's really cool, and uh, Lindsay's going to hit that in just a second also, but if we have any of our past queens or court that's been in a court for the fair the last 75 years, that's where we're at right now. I I think there's a lot underneath the tent. Can y'all stand up a little bit? Come on, y'all stand up. Have you got some outside here waving their hands in the back? This is really cool. You want to make your way up, Lindsay and Art? This is great. Thank you all so much. Again, 75 years. If you don't have it, Lindsay's going to give you a lot more information. There is over 50 dresses on display in the Expedition Hall. There's two slideshows going, one of the current year, and there's a slideshow going for 75 years. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. My wife, she scanned in 75 years books of queen pictures and made it on that slideshow so they can have it for years to come that you do it again at 100 125 and keep growing but go check out those slideshows and those dresses absolutely amazing all right next up we're going to introduce what i'm sorry yes we do have a ton of you girls here young ladies here yeah, there you go. Nice young ladies here in that were in the past courts. We do want a picture of y'all before y'all leave, so do not leave. We want to get a group picture. All right, so uh, as we got here, we got an uh, introduction of uh, Art and Lindsay Pressler. They are our fair float chairman. These two wrangle these kids all year and uh, line up volunteers to drive the float. They take a lot on their shoulders, so here you go. Lindsay. Thank you, Kyle. I would like to say thank you, Kyle, for announcing this year. I want to start off. On behalf of my dad, Marvin Kernelge, my husband, Art, myself, thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting the Queen's Contest. That means a lot to us. We do. We have a, a display in the hall. We have 53 dresses from the past, and uh, we love everyone to go and check it out. We've been working on it for the last week, so... Please check that out. I would like to say thank you to these contestants up here and their families for allowing them to try out and continuing this tradition. I would also like to thank all the uh, parents, grandparents, siblings, directors of the current court, everybody that came out and helped put the float together, took them on parades. We greatly appreciate it. I would like to say thank you to uh, Joanne Yannick for making the dresses again. I would like to say thank you to Susan West for making the sashes. And, of course, Kyle and Karen for getting the slideshow done. That's amazing what all they did. We greatly appreciate it. Everyone that has come out for the um, parade today and to the reception this evening, thank you so much. Everyone that lent their dresses, we greatly appreciate it. All the other memorabilia, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last but not least, thank you to our current court for another memorable year. We hope you all have enjoyed your time on the court, and we look forward to the rest of this year. As always, they tear down the float. They rebuild it all. We pull all the staples, all the paper off, sand everything down, and rebuild it up. So thank you very much. Bandera uh, Parade, our float actually overheated, and these girls jumped off, and they walked the rest of the parade because they thought they needed to. So we greatly appreciate that. So the plaques, we're going to start with Third Duchess. Izzy Ray, our second Duchess, Laura Nielsen, Our first Duchess, J.C. Tribes. And our Queen, Maddie Moore.
Thank you again, everyone. All right, let's give it up for our chairman, our float chairman, Art and Lindsay Pressler. Thank you so much. At this next particular time here, we, uh, we're going to have some speeches from our, our current court that got everything together here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the first one, Miss Izzy Ray is third duchess. She's got a little something to say. Take it away. Hello, my name is Izzy Ray, and I had the privilege of being the third duchess on the 2024 Gillespie County Fair Queen's Court. This past year has taught me many lessons, such as how to fix a dress zipper, read a racing book, and overuse staples, and how to get rid of glitter. Newsflash, you can never get rid of glitter. <laughs> but the biggest lessons I learned were to always wear sunscreen and always have fun. Over the past three years, these girls have become some of my best friends and some of my biggest supporters. <laughs> Whether we were falling down the stairs <laughs> at horse races or sleeping on the sidewalks at a parade, we were always able to laugh with each other, and that was something I will forever cherish. <laughs> Through all the long and hot days together at all the events we attended, we may not have always known what we were supposed to be doing, but I know one thing, it was that whatever we were doing, we were having fun. <laughs> Getting to know all the directors on a personal level made all the long days more tolerable. Laughing was always easy, and there was never a dull moment. Thank you to all the directors who always looked out for us and made sure we had everything we needed. And thank you to Art and Lindsay for keeping us on our toes and putting up with us. Thank you especially to my parents who got up at 5 a.m. on parade mornings and dragged me out of bed. I am so grateful for all of y'all and for my year as their duchess. And now, second, door, second duchess, Laura Nielsen. Good evening, everyone. I'm incredibly honored to stand before you tonight as second duchess of the Gillespie County Fair Queens Court. The Fair Association has truly become like a second family to me. It's a family built on traditions that have been passed down through generations, and I've been exceptionally blessed to be a part of it. I've loved every moment of this experience, from learning about the rich history of our community to contributing to the traditions that made this Fair Association so special. It's not just about wearing a crown or riding in parades. It's about understanding what it means to be a part of something bigger than yourself. I've always also been blessed with the most amazing group of girls on our current court. I couldn't be more grateful to call them my friends. We've shared so many memories together, laughing, supporting each other, and growing close in a way that only this unique experience could bring. Lindsay stole my story, wherever she is, but I will never forget our first parade together. Our float, freshly decorated by us, broke down halfway through the parade. Smoke came up all around us, and our driver, Dondi, yelled something like, y'all jump off, I think it might blow. <laughs> Now that might sound like a disaster, but it turned into one of the most fun and memorable experiences I've ever had. The float was safely parked away from the parade route and the girls and I immediately got off the float and walked the rest of the parade. The crowd appreciated our efforts and it cheered us on. We laughed, we waved, and we truly bonded as a court. It's moments like these that remind me why I love being a part of this tradition. Even when things don't go according to plan, we always find a way to have fun and make memories. I want to give a huge thank you to all our parents and directors who have driven us to countless parades. I know it's not easy to leave Fredericksburg before the sun is up and sacrifice most of the day, especially when the sun is blazing down on us. But you always make sure we're taken care of. Your dedication does not go unnoticed, and we're so grateful for everything you do. And of course, a special thank you to Art, Lindsay, and Marvin, 
for always dealing with us. You've kept us on track, even when things got a little crazy. To the lovely lady sitting behind me, first off, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for trying out. It takes a lot of courage to go through the tryout process and stand up here tonight, and I hope you feel proud of yourselves. I know I'm proud of all of y'all. To the 2025 Gillespie County Fair of Queens Court, I want to offer you some advice. Cherish every moment from the early morning parades to the late night preparations. There will be some long, hot days, no doubt about it, but the memories you'll create and the friendships you'll build will make it all worthwhile. And don't forget to wear sunscreen and drink water. Texas summers are no joke. Finally, I want to say how grateful I am that I will now have a lifelong connection to the people and traditions of the Gillespie County Fair Association. My time on the court has shaped me in ways I've never imagined, and I will always carry the lessons I've learned and the memories I've made with me. Thank you to all the former directors and volunteers who have made our fair the longest continuously running fair in Texas. And thank you to all the current directors and volunteers who are continuing their legacy. And now, second, I'm second, first Duchess, JC. Good evening. My name is JC Tribe, and I had the honor to serve as your 2024 First Duchess for the Gillespie County Queens Court. I wanna start by thanking everybody who made this year the best one yet. To my parents, thank you for always waking up at the earliest hours to get me to and from parades, horse races, and all the events we attended over the year. Thank you, Art and Lindsay, for making this possible, not only for this year, but for all the courts in the past. To the directors for teaching us that the office stairs are much more dangerous than we could ever imagine and that our pride hurt way more than our behind. And a special thank you to Eric for my amazing koozie that was my fascination for an entire weekend. And Dondi for teaching us that stop signs don't matter and that those people will stop for us. <laughs> Maddie, Laura, and Izzy, y'all have become my best friends over the year and getting so close so fast makes my heart full of genuine joy and happiness. To the next girls who are part of this family and community, enjoy the glitter, sweat, and staples. I can admit that I did get staple happy many, many times. And with every staple you take out, I hope you think of me and smile, or maybe even get frustrated, because I know I did too. Thank you so much for the memories and lessons this year has brought me. And of course, a big shout out to myself. For the one time and the one parade, that shocker, Edward Strayer was talking to everybody in sight. We all wanted to go home, so I loaded the float onto the trailer. And everybody, if you know me, you know I don't admit much, so get your phones out and record this. And yes, like I did say on the radio, I want to be just like my dad. Thank you. <laughs> And now we have our amazing 2024 Gillespie County Queen, Maddie Moore. Wow, what an incredible honor it has been to be your 75th Gillespie County Fair Queen. I am truly speechless. And if you know me, you know that doesn't happen often. I'm so grateful for this amazing opportunity and for all the people that made it possible. First and foremost, I want to extend a huge thank you to Lindsay and Art Pressler. Your support, guidance, and knowledge have been absolutely invaluable. And if I've learned one thing from you two, it's that if you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Thank you, Marvin Krenwelge, for all the work you put into our float and for always being around. And thank you, Miss Yannick, for custom fitting and hand sewing our beautiful dresses. Chad and Dondi, thank you both for always being there with a smile and a helping hand. Chad, I've never seen someone juggle so many tasks while still making it look effortless. And Dondi, 
I think you've got a secret superpower for keeping everyone laughing. If there's ever a need for a superhero team, I'm pretty sure you two would be at the top of the list. A big shout out to all the directors who have driven us to parades and worked tirelessly behind the scenes. You never really know just how much goes into the fair until you're a part of it yourself. Y'all are like the unsung heroes of the fair, except you're not unsung anymore because I'm singing your praises right now. Your dedication is what makes this fair such a special event and we're incredibly grateful for everything that you do. When looking at an ag kid, a dancer, a basketball player, and a cheerleader, that seems like quite the unlikely group. However, for us, we fit perfectly. JC, I love our endless banter and constant jokes. Laura, your positivity always helps us get through long days. Izzy, I love our silly commentary and all the hugs. <laughs> I'm forever grateful for this amazing group of girls. <laughs> Sorry. We've sung together, screamed together, and of course, had so much fun together. I truly don't know what I would do without them. If anyone ever needs help building a float, we're for hire, but no glitter, please. I have a phobia of glitter now. <laughs> Being the Gillespie County Fair Queen isn't just a title. It's a symbol of all the things I love about our community. It's about celebrating tradition, like never locking the float trailer, cherishing our German culture, and coming together to support one another. Every event and every moment spent with the community are a reminder of why I fell in love with the fair in the first place. Looking at the girls on this stage, I can't fathom how a year has already gone by since I was right where you are. The days are long and the mornings are early, but it all goes by in a flash. If I could turn back time and get to spend one more race, horse race weekend with my girls, I would. For as much as we complain about being hot, I'd do anything to do this again. <laughs> Thank you to all of our mothers for driving us to parades, buying us so many new outfits, being our personal photographers, and always being so supportive and helpful. Thank you for all believing in me and for making this experience so unforgettable. Here's to another fantastic year of the Gillespie County Fair and to making memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you, everyone. Now, we have a special gift for Art and Lindsay, so if you guys could come up here quickly. Okay, so we put together a little basket for you guys, <laughs> and yeah, no, no glitter, we promise. So we decided to give you guys a candle for all the times we've showed up smelling real bad. We decided to give you some Tylenol for the countless headaches that we have caused. We decided to give you some Dum Dums because we're not the smartest at times. We gave you some extra gum because we're definitely extra. <laughs> and we gave you some Starbus, Starburst because we're all such a burst of joy. I believe our judges are going to be heading this way in just a few minutes, in a few seconds here. But we're going to get them, just to kind of introduce our judges a little bit. They're going to be on their way over here. We got Miss Shay. I asked her earlier, I said, what is one thing when you go into a place and you do something, what is that one thing that, you did that gets you just out of, you're just all to yourself? Everything's at peace. She goes, 
I love to run, and I love to attend functions that her kids are involved in. So she loves to go running, and she loves uh, functions that her kids are involved in. Uh, Bree, Brianna, is also one of our judges. She loves to hang out with her family and sit on the back porch and watch the kids play. And uh, Miss Becca, Miss Becca, she likes to drive around checking cows with her wiener dog in her lap and a drink in her hand. She loves going to do that. So we do. We got some just regular old down-to-earth judges here that are making our decisions right now. But we're going to get them this way. And um, I do want to say that a huge thank you out to uh, the Fair Association and uh, Blooming Costin on donating the flowers that we have to uh, present here. And let's see here. Also, a, uh, a big thank you. I want to announce a thank you to Miss Tina Mounts Miller of Allen Boots. Uh, she had a donation of a pair of boots for our 2024 Queens Court. And also, we want to thank Kelsey Morgan and Hannah Ray at Felt Boutique on donating hats this past year also. So, again, our, our community just keeps giving and, uh, and it just keeps getting better all the time. Let's see here. Also, I want to let you everybody know that here tonight, uh, we got Billy Mata coming up right after us. We're, as soon as we get them judges, we're going to get some ladies crowned. Looks like they're making their seats right now. But uh, 8 o'clock tonight, Billy Mata. Tomorrow, we got 8.30, Kevin Fowler. And 10 o'clock, we got Easton Corbin. So we're doing good there. Come back out to there, uh, to the fairgrounds, and enjoy horse races 2 o'clock Saturday and Sunday. That's when we're going to start up. All right, judges have their seat, so we're going to go ahead and do an announcement. I need to get a little folder. I need to get a little envelope. That's, is that coming up here? Is that making its way? A little envelope, maybe? I, oh, oh, y'all are more worried about the riddle? We, <laughs> oh, y'all got it? Okay. All right, the riddle real quick as I'm getting an envelope here. I think we're getting it somewhere. Um, the riddle. What is, or what has a bottom at the top? Did anybody think they got it? <laughs> we do. Does it have to do with a leg? Yeah. <laughs> a leg has a bottom at the top. All right. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I, I, I got to have an envelope. Wow. Okay. Also, uh, also happening here tomorrow, I believe there's go roping at 3.30. We got tons of events happening, and I think there's weather also out there. Billy Mott is playing, so it's going to rain tonight, later on tonight, but before he's going to get started. We do want to thank you out to all those guys that helped and supported these girls all year. Uh, scholarship Fest is September 21st. Please come back out, that, out to that. Just a quick note on the Scholarship Fest. If you've never been there, it's been an amazing event. Uh, we went back again uh, this past year. It was super great. They have awarded just under $700,000, and they have spread it out to over 900 Gillespie County youth. So that money at the Scholarship Fest, yes, give them a round of applause. That Scholarship Fest is a huge moneymaker and giver backer to the, uh, to the kids. So... Uh, yes, thank you so much. 21st of September, right out here, we got the uh, Scholarship Fest. It was a great, great night. All right. All right, they're getting that together. I do got one more riddle. Y'all want to hear one more? Y'all aren't going to get this one? Yeah, one more? Just one more. They're, getting the, they're, they're making the envelope right now. They're getting it together. Getting everybody. I think they're getting last names on here now this time because we couldn't have last names earlier. So, all right, riddle real quick. What is three-sevenths chicken? Three-sevenths chicken, two-thirds cat, one-half goat. Three-sevenths chicken, two-thirds cat, one-half goat. Chicago! <laughs> you were getting there, all right. <laughs> words. Just today, some were spoken that had an impact on you. Some words helped, and some words hurt. Words are powerful. So whose words speak the loudest in your life? The media? Your peers? The government? 
What about God's Word? His words are what we all need to hear for help and guidance through life. Come visit us at Trinity Church, where we're listening and learning to love and follow God's Word. All right, so uh, while we're getting that, we're going to go through the contestants one more time. Y'all are going to stand up and wave. Here we go. Contestant number one, Kirsten. Give her a round of applause. Looking great. Thank you, Kirsten. Contestant number two, Annalise. Woo! Miss Laney, contestant number three. All right, Miss Norris. Stand up, contestant number four. All right, Ellie. Give us a stand up and give us a big wave. Contestant number five, Miss Ellie. Contestant number six, Miss Rayleigh. Also, here we are. Holston, stand up. Contestant number seven. There we go, bringing half a town. These ladies, everybody's here. Everybody's waiting, waiting patiently. Rayleigh, don't look so nervous. Don't look so nervous. All right. Are y'all ready to be a part of this? Y'all going to work the souvenir booth the rest of the weekend? So you have any plans? <laughs> You're going to be out here supporting the Gillespie County Fair, and it's a great deal. Uh, today, uh, the, tonight, the uh, carnival opened at 5, and tomorrow, the uh, carnival is going to be opening up at 1. So you come out there, horse races at 2. Carnival's at 1. I believe the gates open at noonish, And, uh, yeah, definitely head out to the, uh, the, uh, the big building over here was the exhibition hall. That's where I'm looking for. Head out to the exhibition hall, see all the home goods and uh, things that actually make this a, uh, the longest living fair. Uh, all these projects that do come in. And uh, also, thank you to our 75th uh, queens that made it out. Y'all, in you, your new courts. We appreciate y'all making y'all's way uh, here tonight and be honored. Uh, some of the dresses here, and when you do go over there, it is a 1950s dress that is in the exhibition hall. And that's Miss Betty Olfers. She has her dress over there, and that is so awesome, and she's still here with us today. I don't think she made it out here today, but she is still here today. Yes, she did. Miss Betty's over there. All right. That is awesome. Yep, 1950s, and it's a styrofoam crown. War proudly. All right. Wait a minute. Am I reading this right? They had a tie? Y'all make it harder on me back there. I just want y'all to know that. All right. We're going to live this up, kids. I'm telling you. I have noted right here. That when the numbers came in on where they do, they have these categories that they put numbers in. And there is literally a tie on two of them. And what broke it was, they couldn't tell me. But they have a tie on numbers and they were really gracious. And this is really awesome. And there's plenty of money here for the uh, Sphere Association to give out for more people here. So let's do it. Let's go start with our fourth Duchess. Number six, Riley Byer. Come on up. JC has a crown for you. Again, this tie is a huge shock. Again, we got a sash coming and we got flowers coming. Miss Rayleigh, I want you to step right here. You're going to stand right with me. Congratulations, baby. Hang out right here. Don't go nowhere, kid. All right, we're going to have our third Duchess, number seven, Holston Stout. Miss Easy Ray's presenting you with your sash and your crown. And a set of flowers. Wow. I want y'all two to know that y'all are just equally awesome right now. That's according to these three judges right now. So y'all are amazing. Thank y'all for trying out. All right, here we go. We're going to keep rolling here. We're going to go with our second duchess. Number one, Kirsten Hartman. All right, all right. 
Okay, just stand right there in front of your chair. Great, great, great drive. All right, here we go. We're getting down close here. Contestant number one, first Duchess. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She was up here already. First Duchess. That's where I'm going. Duchess. First Duchess. Number five, Ellie Touch. Sally, contest number five. All righty, girls, here we go. This is pure love right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be your 137th Gillespie County Fair Queen, number four, Nora Sasha. We're going to get some pictures. Y'all want to move up here towards the front. We're going to get a few pictures. You can move up here towards the front. We're going to go, I guess we can almost go queen towards the middle. And then y'all do uh, one, two, three, and four right there. There you go. Spread to the side just a little more. Here we go. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2025 queen in her court. And the queen's going to all right. Appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for coming out. I do have one quick thing. If you do have a chair, please make your way back off the dance floor with your chair. That way, Billy Modic is going to be playing. He's going to have some dancing going on. And that's what we do around here. We have a great time. Again, pictures and thank you. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your chair. Thanks for coming out. At Hill Country Propane, Inc., we work hard to earn your propane business. Do you need propane delivery for your home? We're on it. Refilling propane cylinders for your grill? We're on it. Filling up your RV and our easy drive through We're on it. Savings on RV and cylinder fills? We're on it. For all your propane needs, choose Hill Country Propane, Inc., because... We're We're on it. Hill Country Propane, Inc. Go Propane. You finally found your soulmate. Now it's time to define your lives together. Lives that are bound with the perfect circle of your wedding rings from Segner's Jewelers. That perfect ring to present to her at that perfect moment. The wedding that will celebrate the beginning of life as Mr. and Mrs. The beginning of a lifetime of love. Find us in Fredericksburg and Bee Cave. Shop in-store or online at SegnersJewelers.com. Segner's Jewelers. Define yourself. Words. Just today, some were spoken that had an impact on you. Some words helped, and some words hurt. Words are powerful. So whose words speak the loudest in your life? The media? Your peers? The government? What about God's word? His words are what we all need to hear for help and guidance through life. Come visit us at Trinity Church, where we're listening and learning to love and follow God's word.